I haven't like gone out in like a while. Welcome to MegaZoo. In the next four weeks, we will welcome 50 pretty cracked God tier Ethereum application builders. Every day, we will meditate a little bit, we will practice Muay Thai a little bit, we will ship a lot of codes, we will make friends with each other with the goal of really producing world-class, real-time, really useful application using crypto primitives and using Ethereum stack. So we need to reduce Chiang Mai's temperature to eight and a half degrees, right? So one of them is if we can increase Chiang Mai's elevation, right? that reduce the intensity of the sunlight on coming to the entire Earth by one quarter. And this is, to me, is the ultimate mission of the Megazoo project. We are here to blot out the sun. <laughs> oh, wood is not a trade wood. It's just wood. Wood? Wood. Get wood? Give you wood? I can give you wood if you give me a coin. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. But as a nice, wholesome young man that I am, you'll see me every day get a coffee, call my girlfriend, you know, talk about my feelings, read um, bell hooks, and after that, I practice mindfulness. Did you realize you gave me the wrong room number? Oh, did I? Sorry. You give me one five zero seven. Um, is it actually not that? So you never attend a meditation here? Like, you know, I, I meditate on my own. At the gym, the gym is my meditation. So you went to gym every day? Um, no, well, I've had like a throat issue. I, Chad GPT recommended that. I don't do exercise. Um, so there was a Xu Yao tweet that I'd like to cite here. It said, every white person is building a Asian project and every Asian person is building a Greek project. I'm not white, however, the one who got away was Japanese. So I've been working on a lending protocol called Teco. There are pools where you can have multiple assets that can be used as collateral to borrow one asset. Then above that, you have super pools, which directs liquidity in between all the different pools. And it's been really fun building that uh, we're almost done, but a couple weeks ago, Namek was cooking up this idea called uh, Obey to Earn, and we're considering pivoting into it. You have people with glasses, and so you can prompt someone to do something, and you can verify that they're doing it with the glasses. You're effectively building a marketplace like Uber for everything. On the other hand, we have the entertainment side, where you have people running around with these glasses, and you can see their POV. You can give them, okay, here's $5, you know, do a backflip into the trash can. Today's Friday. How close are you to pivoting? I'm not sure yet, but uh, we have a plan in place. About the same as I was on Friday. Slightly less than yesterday, but slightly more than two weeks ago. Uh, uh, it, it made me even more bullish. Kevin had a pretty good setup. I'm really observing this like inner struggle of him going to do something that he knows has product market fit or experimenting on something that's unknown, but also deeply resonating with his personality. So there's digital wood. Imagine you grow wood, chop the wood, you carry the wood, you build a house with wood. So it's just wood, but it's digital wood. It's not, it's not an NFT, it's not a token, it is just wood. Can I gamble with my wood? You can put it on Uniswap, you can build a house with it. It's not a token. You should put that on a shirt. Yeah, wood is not a token. Yeah. Wood is not a token. And then you know what, you know what, we make it a meme coin just to fuck with you. Especially for people in crypto who keep wanting tokens and ERC20s. No, it's just wood. I think it's a really good... Like slogan. Biomes is trying to grow the virtual world with the largest GDP possible. So like imagine a billion dollar Minecraft server. In the world, you have a bunch of matter. There's diamond, there's wood, there's coal. It's all provably scarce because of the blockchain. So wood is valuable because of the physics of the world and wood is scarce. Places you build inside of the world, you can connect it to the real economy. Yeah, so for example, you could build like a, this train station or transportation network and charge real money tickets for people to use them. And so it's just as real as a train station in our world. Yeah, tell us something quickly about Ivan. Okay, so once <laughs> he went on an intermittent fasting diet where you basically don't eat, eat dinner and you lose weight. So then he, he went on this diet and then for dinner instead, 
He had a massive amount of cookies. These it's are, a cookie. It's a cookie, exactly. It's not a token. You just eat it. When I first met the Biomes team, I knew nothing about games. And I thought it was quite silly to put Minecraft on chain, because why? But after them explaining to me and me playing the game physically, I realized that it's something quite revolutionary. Because crypto is not only crucial for the Biomes world from an infrastructure perspective, but also tokenomics and crypto nativeness. I really think they are going to dramatize the entire world and they will change how people perceive crypto. Competition is very good. Even though every builder is building in a different sphere, we believe the best way to bond people is when they're doing common activities, swimming challenges, hack, debugging together. That's why during the Saturday anti-longevity, longevity party, we decided to group people into four different teams and have them compete with each other on equal foot. This is a real Chinese. A real Chinese carries an umbrella. Let's fucking go, guys. Get your team ready. Won this competition, we will beat you all up. I don't think I lose this term in my dictionary, it doesn't exist. I think I'm the only one who did it in a correct form, and everyone else, their position is not very, you know, like correct. Uh, I dishonored my family. No! Everybody, let's go! The team that finds the most critical vulnerabilities wins. Losing on Saturday. Okay, dude, you know, it's not basically the system was rigged against the mafia because the mafia was so gonna win that they had to steal it from us. I was so angry, honestly. I was about to die in the swimming pool, honestly. I brought an open source dev to come do the coding challenge. He's not even in Megazoo. This week, we got it. I got my Moroccan devs with me here. They just arrived today. They made my heart full again. It used to be empty. And uh, now I'm fucking ready to go and beat everyone at the next. Um, what is it called again? Anti-longevity Olympiads. Anti Olympiads. So we play games professionally for many years, reaching the very top in both Magic and Hearthstone. But uh, we had to write an open letter to Hasbro CEO so they would honor the previously announced price of $1 million at the World Championship. Another gaming company, Valve, canceled a multi-million dollar tournament that we spent months practicing for. We've also spent thousands of dollars on card collections that are now forever stuck in our accounts. And our own government regulations uh, have been stopping us from playing online poker. So all these frustrations inspired us to use crypto to prevent these problems and make a game that millions will love. So first, we want to build a marketplace where players can buy and sell their cards. Second, we want to offer customizable in-game tournaments. And third, we want to use credible commitments on things like in-game fees and price costs. This is, in my opinion, like more interesting to them than poker because it's not so boring. They don't have to fold all the time. The game is dynamic, back and forth. There are like some cool cards that make exciting moments. Yes, yeah, so I think the most exciting thing for people about playing Golden Ticket is the swing in nature. So there's, there's like a lot that can happen, a lot of back and forth. For me personally, like the most exciting thing is seeing how people love the game. Yeah. We're probably going to change in the game, we're just going to, instead of the pass button, we're going to have a check button. And, and those are like the small things that you know you can improve on. And uh, it's kind of cool to see that like the players figure this out instead of us. Yeah, they, they just do it so naturally, right? You can you can basically learn so much about the game just by watching other people. I yeah, think your, your demo two weeks ago is I think pretty, shit. pretty shit is understatement. It's one of the worst days of my life. One of the worst days of your life? <laughs> I don't know, I couldn't sleep. Um, tell me about today. Yeah, I think it went better than last week. Cool. Yeah. What, do you, what do you think about their uh, demo? demo today? I woke up late so I didn't attend their demo, but I... <laughs> <laughs> the first time around, it was pretty bad. But today the demo was great. I knew exactly what you guys were up to. Shout out to Golden Ticket. Where does the name Golden Ticket come from? It's his idea. Well, I guess it was my idea, but we, we settled on it. Do you guys have chocolates? This is like a Willy Wonka thing? We do not. Yeah. <laughs> so we're thinking about renaming. 
Currently, we've narrowed it down to, to two choices, either Showdown or Ace Bound. What we'd like to do, maybe for the last demo day before we leave, it would be it would be good to let people know, right? If we're rebranding, like if they, people just leave leave Megazoo, they're gonna be.